Hello, hello, my loves. Since we did some uh, all signs for the harsh truth, we're going to do an all signs for what the good, what's good coming? What good is coming your way? What's something good? What's good coming your way in November? And we're going to do the all signs. And we'll start with Scorpio and make our way around the wheel since we are still in Scorpio season. Kind of catching up on that vibe. Today is November 8th. So a couple more weeks right in the thick of Scorpio season. Um, collectively coming in, we've got, and there'll be timestamps in the description box. Um, harmony. Harmony is coming the way collectively. So whatever happens, the positive end result is harmony. Probably a lot of transformation. I see some butterflies. Uh, there's always a lot going on in these decks. This is um, the, y'all have seen me use the nature's whisper and whispers of the ocean. It's the same person did these decks. Um, but there's a lot going on. I see a lot of green. I see a web. I feel like the everything's coming together. A plan is coming together. And I just, it's nice. There's a ladybug. That's good fortune. So there's harmony and we got love. So some of you may have a new relationship coming in. So there is that. <clears throat> but the water signs got the tower. So I wanted to look one card underneath. You're coming out of a hard cycle. You're moving into a new cycle. Uh, your burdens are easing. But it was tough because Eight of Cups is definitely, um, we're talking about Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Um, there was probably something fairly traumatic that happened. And the Eight of Cups, unexpected potentially with the Tower. Something, you know, the Tower comes in to break away everything that's holding you back. So it could have been very forced, something you weren't really going along with. Um, and your your heart's a little heavy over it. So it could be a relationship, a job. It could be anything going on. But you're coming out, maybe a health issue, you know, something pretty life-changing, some sort of loss. Uh, there was definitely an elimination uh, in the water sense, and I think it's been kind of a, a hard road, kind of been a little bit of a hard road here. And you're coming out of that in November and moving into the harmony and balance. For the fire signs, there's clarity coming in. Okay, maybe a new way forward. Nine of Wands is underneath that King of Swords. Um, some of you, if you've got somebody new coming in, they may be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Keep that in mind, talking to Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Uh, but there is a lot of clarity, and I actually think you're kind of maybe changing the way you're doing something, and you're going to get some positive results. Yeah. You're really, as well, making a firm decision, fire signs, making a firm decision. But again, what's the good stuff? You make this firm decision, then you start moving forward. Um, very big manifestation coming for the earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. The magician with the four of wands. So there is a lot of stability. Um, there is, I think there's going to be a moment of big recognition for you, Earth signs, during November. A big moment of recognition. Air signs, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Eight of Pentacles and the Hierophant. So you're really working. Um, you're really doing, there's something of a conventional nature coming in. Maybe a fire sign. I felt like Earth signs. And so, again, the there may be an Earth fire, and excuse me, an air fire uh, partnering up. Some of you may partner up with a fire sign. They might be younger than you. Um, you may just really be feeling fired up and putting a lot of energy into something. And I do feel you'll reap those benefits. All right. So let's go in and let's go sign by sign. Starting with Scorpio. <clears throat> let's see what we come up with. Do a couple of shuffles, Scorpio. Again, there's timestamps in the description box. And they're general messages. General messages. So you can check your sun, moon. Or All right, Scorpio. It's going to do a line of five, I think. Ah. Huh. Definitely something coming to completion. Um, I think you're kind of working through it. I feel like you're kind of working through it in November. We've got the High Priestess on the Justice card. So coming in and kind of in the beginning of November, I'm not sure that you're going to feel the balance or the equality or you're not going to see that. There is definitely a gift coming around mid-month with the Six of Cups. 
definitely could be dealing with a Pisces, um, a Gemini or a Libra, uh, Scorpio energy on the world, but I also get Aquarius energy on that. So maybe dealing with another air sign potentially. So I feel like I've got the air sign. Tells me there's a lot about a very positive communication. Um, there is something, there is a helping hand is what I'm feeling, Scorpio. A helping hand coming in that's going to kind of help. I feel like you're going to get, maybe somebody's going to come in and help you when you really need it. Um, there is going to be some very good news coming in that's going to kind of help you. I like the two of pentacles because sometimes it can be like weighing the pros and cons or it can be juggling a heavy load. But in this one, I see it's almost like you're just kind of getting things back on, back on track. Yeah, there's definitely something healing uh, with the four of swords. So again, maybe something that you weren't sure was going to happen or you weren't sure how something was going to play out is going to come to a um a nice conclusion for you this month so if there's something like you've been trying to get a job um if there's been a relationship issue or if there's been a problem in a relationship is more what i feel like uh maybe a difference of opinion so this could be romantic or platonic um a little bit if your money's been a little crazy or your health if you've been waiting on a promotion um, definitely if you've been, for the singles, if you've been waiting to meet someone, you may have an air sign coming in. <clears throat> I may have an air sign coming in. You got the four of swords and then the repose and you can see this little fairies kind of taking a nap. So whatever's coming in is probably going to come in at the end of the month. All right. Assessment. So I definitely feel like with that assessment, um, I definitely feel like you're kind of taking stock of things. Um, I do as well think that there's going to be a very unlikely source that's helpful to you. With the Six of Cups and the Two of Pentacles, I actually feel like that the the help coming in or the positive coming in is going to come in. There's going to be something very, there's going to be a gift. Somebody's going to say something really nice. There's going to be recognition or a compliment, Scorpio. And it's going to come from a very unlikely source. Yeah, you've got a lot of support. Um, I definitely think you don't have to carry the burden alone if anybody's been dealing with that. Um, and don't be afraid to accept that help. It's always hard for any of us. doesn't matter what your sign is. All right, that's what I got for Scorpio. Pretty good. The end of, I mean, things are turning around. Things are turning around. But I think it's going to be more probably at the end of the, toward the end of the month, probably either, I would say, uh, you know, could be even into uh, Sagittarius season, you know? All right. Speaking of Sagittarius season, let's jump in for Sagittarius. One more shuffle, Sag. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Oh, making plans. Pushing into the future. Something's coming up. I think there's some very, there's, there's something really good for you. There's the Queen of Wands. We got that Ten of Wands. Bottom of the deck's Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Um, let's look at this Ten of Wands. I want one card on that. Oh, okay. So you are working on something new. I almost feel like you're really at the end of a cycle. Um, if any of you are looking for that stability, just on a very, uh, kind of big area if you're looking uh, for stability and, and structure. I think, you know, you can see a plan coming together. This isn't easy. This is major transformation. We've got the sun and the death card, but there is, the sun's coming out. Um, the sun is coming out on whatever's going on. I feel like for sure, if you've been single, you could really probably meet somebody this month. We got Leo, Scorpio energy, and earth sign energy, as well as fire. So, I mean, you could be meeting... Um, but I did feel the fire signs may meet an earth sign. Big transformation. <clears throat> but I feel like you're transforming too, Sagittarius. I feel like you're transforming too. There's that harmony card that came out, uh, finding a lot of joy. Uh, uh, but that ten of wands, there are still some struggles. That's definitely not the good stuff. But this is a major transformation with this death card. This is a major transformation, Sagittarius. 
Um, I do feel that with the seven of pentacles, you're, you're, you're kind of taking an assessment as well, and that will benefit you. This assessment's going to kind of open you up, um, to your next step forward. So there is a lot of clarity coming in for the fire signs. Um, I think that you just really need to have faith. You got the believe card, the believe card. And I love these, this deck because there's so much, uh, uh detail. But again, we've got a lot of butterflies. Can't even count them. Um, we've got this, uh, maybe a leopard. Looks like kind of a leopard there. She's got a parrot and she's petting it. And there's all these butterflies that are covering her. See, they're up here and they're on her arm. There's some monkeys. There's a lot going on around her. And you see how calm and how focused she is. So I definitely feel like amidst the chaos, and we've got perspective, so there's probably perspective change. Um, amidst the chaos, you're going to have to find um, peace among the noise. And I think you will. I think you're going to find peace among the noise. Peace among the noise, Sagittarius. All right. That's what I got. What I got. We're just kind of going through. I just wanted to give you a a little, a little something to chew on. I'm also going to have the mutable signs up later today. Or if you're seeing this, we'll have the mutable signs up. And uh, so that's Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, and Virgo. Those are next up. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Look out for your good stuff. Queen of Cups could be dealing with a water or fire sign. Oh, Scorpio energy. Five of Swords situation. We got the Knight of Swords. Okay, so there is a big communication uh, coming up. Somebody's going to make an opportunity. You're going to turn it down. It's a big moment. Uh huh. You're moving toward the new. I think immediately. I think that you've got an opportunity coming in, whether it's job or it's for a person. It, you're at a turning point, and I feel like about mid-month, there's a big turning point. All right, Queen of Cups, King of, King, of Ra, uh, King of Wands. I feel like there's two opportunities as the gift, and, and you've got to make the choice on what's the right direction forward. So you've got a new beginning coming in. Now, if you turn one down, I definitely feel like there's going to be something else come in. Um, so... There's, there's new opportunities around you. I feel like there's multiple opportunities. I feel like there's multiple directions you can go. What's this business? Oh, Tower, Hangman, the Moon. Let's put them back in do a couple of shuffles, Capricorn. There's a moment. It's almost, I feel like with that death card, you're at a real crossroads moment with the direction to go forward. I feel like you have two paths before you, Capricorn, in November. Yeah. Which way are you going to go? I feel like you have two paths before you. Yeah. And you are going to start. You're going to make a decision. Yeah, there's the world card. Sorry, I didn't mean to kick the rickety old tripod I got. And there's two paths before you. So it's a real crossroads. You've got a real crossroads decision. You're moving into a new cycle. So um, you definitely want to. I mean, you could repeat a cycle, but you don't have to. You got the Harmony card as well. You guys see me shuffling here. Man, let's get another one on that. And we've got Energy. So, again, there is the gift that you've got a new beginning coming this month. And I, I also feel like the big problem is you've got choices. So, you really need to be focused and know. Uh, it's kind of know thyself, Capricorn. Know thyself. And there is a moment. Have you learned from the... Have you learned from the... Have you learned from the past? Um, I definitely feel like there's, yeah, there's a real energy. Again, it's about belief. You know, what draws us in. Sometimes it makes me think about that before I move on to Aquarius is that sometimes it's really comforting to stay in the past and instead of moving into the unknown, but Capricorn, I feel like there's a real turnaround for you, you know, coming. I feel like that there is a big turnaround in the energy and it's quick. So I feel like there's almost like a little bit of a, uh, you know, eight of wands energy surrounding you that, you know, once you step away from what isn't meant for you, what is meant for you is quickly going to come in. So it's not like you're waiting months and months, um, which that shouldn't affect your decision. You should do what's best for you. But 
We don't always do that, you know? I'm in the wrong deck. Okay, I'm going to go with Aquarius on this. I'm going to go with Aquarius on this. Aquarius and Pisces, both this deck. Move you back to the line. All right, Aquarius. Something fell and I'm gonna let it fall. We'll pick it up at the end as a clarifier. All right, High Priestess, Seven of Wands, King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and Two of Pentacles. All right. Definitely a pull to the past. What do we got here on the floor? Let me just say it. <laughs> Y'all can't see it because I'm doing the cards, but I have like the chair I'm sitting in plus two more and I've got feet propped up strangely. The moon reversed. Oof. Caught up in your feels, Aquarius, a little bit. Um, I feel like that there's going to be... All right, this is what's going to happen. You got something going on. You've got... You know what you want to do. You know exactly what you want to do. Well, something's coming in. There's a wrench being thrown. Something unexpected is coming in. That's even better. And it's got you... It's got you a little bit twisted up. It is good. It is good. Oh, okay. We got two. We've got merriment. And we've got love. All right, so Aquarius, you've got the opportunity to do something you love. So this could be a new person, uh, unexpectedly, and maybe an earth sign or a Pisces. Um, you could be having something like that coming in, uh, maybe even a Cancer. So it could be an earth or a Pisces or a Cancer. I've got Gemini there as well. Um, but you could have somebody new coming in, like you're working on something else and you're really, you could be really focused on yourself, could be really focused on work. There's just a whole thing that could be going on. But I actually feel like that there could be somebody new unexpectedly coming in, or there could be a job offer coming in unexpectedly. Um, there definitely is something very positive coming in uh, to, yeah. There is something positive coming in that, you, that you're already working in that area, but it's a little bit unexpected, I feel like. So there's a surprise. There's a surprise. Could be a surprise party. Huh? I think it's maybe a new person or it's a new opportunity. Companionship was there. We've got the hair of fan. Yeah. It's either, it's either love or money, um, but like job-related money is what I feel like. <clears throat> Could be something unexpected. There could be a pregnancy announcement if you've been trying to get pregnant. Uh, so there's definitely, it's good news. So somebody could be announcing a pregnancy. Could be you or somebody around you because I've got, you know, the Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the merriment and Love. So there's a big uh, announcement. But I feel like some of you got uh, maybe a new love coming in. Some of you may have a new love coming in, Aquarius. But it's a joyous occasion. It's happy. You're excited. This is something, it's very light. Um, it could be like a new, like a raise or a promotion, maybe a new job, but it could be a raise or a promotion as well, uh, Aquarius. So that's be good. That'd be good. You're really going to celebrate it. You're really going to celebrate it. You're really going to celebrate it. It's really good news for you. You're really excited about it. Okay. It could be a boost if you own your own business or something. Who knows? All right, let's move into Pisces. Still want to use this deck. Still filling this deck. All right, Pisces. Two of Pentacles, the Death card. Death card's coming up. There's the Eight of Cups. That came up on the bottom of the deck for the Water Signs. Moving on. Mm, good news coming in. Okay, you're really pushing into the future, leaving the past behind. There's a new opportunity coming in that's going to help kind of speedball this, all right? It's going to speedball it. It's going to speedball it. You've hung in there. You've done the work. It's time to move forward. You're definitely moving. In. You've been a little, this has been a little back and forth energy. So if it's a relationship you're ending, then I, I'm feeling that energy that you're really fully committed at this point, at this point, you're really fully committed, Pisces. Um, maybe in the past, there might have been a little bit of, you know, maybe some reconciliations, things of that nature. 
Uh, but this one's for good. You got two of pentacles, the death card, eight of cups, three of cups, and the two of wands. But there is something coming. I'm telling you, it's just, I would see more. There's a lot of a... There's a lot of shadow feel to the first part of November. And then as we get past where Pluto, Pluto firmly moves into Aquarius and out of Capricorn, and it'll be in Aquarius for the next 20 years. Um, but once Pluto fully mo moves out of Capricorn and into Aquarius, there will be a, a kind of a light energy. And I think there's a lot of opportunities that are going to come in. So definitely a lot of the signs will definitely see a change, especially those that have cardinal placements, significant cardinal placements, um, because it is moving out of a cardinal sign into a fixed sign. Okay. One more shot. So there's good news coming in about the future. Three of Cups, two of Wands. And you've really done the work. Kind-hearted. Yeah, there's definitely a gift coming in. You also got that merriment card, and it's on the bottom. So, Pisces, you've got a really some really good news about the future. So, it could be love, life, money, career. I'm just hearing that this is something you've really put the work in on. Uh, Seven of Wands with the world. That's coming up. The world, the death card. A lot of cycles completing. We got the devil really taking yourself out of on just firmly putting whatever hasn't worked for you, Pisces, into the past, and you will reap a reward. It's almost like that bouquet energy from the Lenormand for me. It's almost like the bouquet energy from the Lenormand for me, Pisces. It's like definitely um, a, a, just a gift coming in, just a, just a beautiful gift coming in. I love it. Digging it. These are some nice messages. Definitely feel like there's new relationships coming in, potentially new jobs or new positions. Um, peeps, uh, people will be moving into uh, new financial cycles. And this is throughout the whole Zodiac, okay? This is throughout the whole Zodiac that people will be moving into um, better financial situations. So it's kind of almost a breath of fresh air as Pluto transits into Aquarius. I'm not saying there's not challenges. There's always challenges um, with any energy as well. But I do feel that there is going to be, I do. I know a lot of astrologers are like, oh, Mercury retrograde's coming again. And we are in the pre-shadow phase. We kind of went into it yesterday. So we are in the pre-shadow phase of the Mercury retrograde. But I, a lot of astrologers are like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this Mercury retrograde is going to be a doozy because it's in Sagittarius and yada, yada, and yada, yada. I actually think this is probably going to be... Um, probably the, if I can say this, I don't want to tempt the fates or mess with astrology, but if you lean into it a little bit and you're patient and you go with the challenges, this might be probably one of the easier retrogrades we've had this year. It's the fourth one. And I actually kind of feel like that if you take things with a grain of salt, you plan ahead and you set yourself up for success, there may be some annoyances, but, uh. And as well, you know, you don't have to repeat past mistakes either. You can be like Sagittarius, which is ruler of the ninth house. And you can just be like, I'm going to go in a direction I've never gone before. I'm going to be bold. You can harness that Sagittarius energy and do something very different with this Mercury retrograde. All right. So let's move into Aries. Aries. Okay, what do we got? Three of Pentacles, you got a plan. Oh, Ace of Swords. Okay, so you're definitely getting answers that you're looking for, and that's very positive. Um, de oh, this is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely, a, if you're trying to sign a contract or you're dealing with any legal issues, uh, definitely there's that. There's a, definitely a completion of a cycle, of course. Everybody's going through that. Um, cycles are always ending and beginning. But, I mean, if you're signing a contract or a lease or making a major purchase, I see everything going very smoothly and very much in your direction. Um, be smart about it. Do your research. But there's all these cards that you're very focused on success. And you are going to 
um, get a major success. And there's something as well. I definitely feel like for Aries, you're getting a lot of recognition. People are really noticing you. So definitely if you're single, uh, get yourself out there, network. I mean, this could be a really good time uh, to meet somebody new. There is something that I feel like you're making a really good connection. All right. Not necessarily romantic, but that could be it. But you're making a good life connection. So this could definitely be in finance. we got the Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Um, definitely coming into a partnership. Okay. So definitely even you could just be making a new friendship, like a really good friend. Or maybe reconnecting with a friend that you haven't. Maybe things have just not been bad. Like I don't feel like there was any bad blood, but you've been out of touch. Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, The Lovers, Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands. I mean, I actually feel like that, particularly for those that have kind of taken a new approach. Um, and you've definitely put the work in. You've been following the plan to T, Three of Pentacles, Ace, Ace of Swords. Your hard work is going to pay off. Your hard work is paying off, Aries. And you will see, um, this is probably the best energy. I feel amped up. I feel amped up. This is good. And I feel like it's something you've been working on. And even if it's just a little spark or a plan right now at the beginning of November, you're going to see results, Aries, by the end of November. So if you just decided, hey, I want to do this with my business, you're going to see a boom. If you're like, hey, I'm going to start applying for new jobs and maybe I want to go into a different area. There's something where you're taking a fresh approach, I feel like. Presence. Oh, I love that. You're very present. You're very present in your life right now, and you are going to reap benefits because of that. This is very much an energy of even if you're not an Aries sun, that you're an Aries moon or rising or whatever, north node, whatever you got going down, um, whatever you're, you're watching Aries for. But I feel like you're very present in this area of, of your life. And you've got a lot of belief. I think that you're turning your dreams into reality. You're turning your dreams into reality. Big cycle changes. These are all really beneficial. This is really, these are the gifts. These are the gifts. So you are actually, so far, you are for sure uh, the best energy, the best read. Because you're very, very, you're very in sync, Aries, with the energy around you. You're very in sync with the energy around this. So for those of you that have been in a relationship, there could be a marriage proposal, there could be, we've got, t you know, Ten of Cups. I saw Nine of Cups coming up. I mean, look at the bottom of this deck. Ten of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, like really a nice conclusion to a plan. It's all about plans. Seven of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles are really planning cards. I'm excited about your energy. And um, the Lovers, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands. I mean, you've really kind of per persevered and made a lot of changes. And you've, you've really done the work to get, you're ready to move forward. You are, this is very much, you are very much embodying that energy of Pluto leaving Capricorn. And even though Sagittarius, this is good. This is good too, because we got Mercury and Venus in Sagittarius, which is a fellow fire sign. And so I think you're kind of like really pulling up on, on, you know, I think you're really communicating accurately. I don't know. This is good energy. What do you not see coming? Lots of stability, prosperity long-term growth yeah with the herald fan underneath that might have an earth sign coming in some of you aries might have an earth sign coming in all right no but i do feel this is really good on something financial especially for any of you that may be dealing with like a legal situation or health I mean, even though there weren't really any what I saw were health cards, there's a big victory. There's a there's a big moment. And I also feel like that you're really going to be noticed in November and uh, really maybe even already and really recognize like maybe get some recognition. All right. So we are moving on into Taurus. That's right. Taurus. One more shuffle, Taurus. I did get a nice read for you. I read for the fixed sign yesterday. Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius. So check them out. Oh, oh, you are very much persevering. You know, I think it probably feels tough now because we got the tower with the seven of wands. And I'm going to clarify that a little bit. 
But I mean, I feel like there's definitely some things that are going to happen that it's going to help build your confidence. So your confidence is really getting uh, built up. Bottom of the deck, that's you. Yeah, Hierophant. But this Tower Seven of Wands coupling here. Yeah, I actually feel like whatever you're going through or have been going through is you're going to be pushing through that because there's definitely some... Maybe you've got some good support. You're accepting support. Maybe you're doing good things for yourself with this Three of Cups energy. And it might be a little back and forth, Two of Pentacles. It's okay. And we're all a work in progress, nothing. But I think you're focusing a little bit more on yourself. And you're feeling um, nice and confident. All right. I feel like you're feeling really confident about things. Or maybe getting your confidence back. Maybe there's been a little bit of an issue. But whatever's going on. You've taken care of a lot of your shit. Okay. Oh, look, Ace of Cups. Definitely talk, single Tarans may have somebody new coming in. Or there's some sort of new beginning going on. Um, and it may be in a situation that in the past has been very difficult. Okay. I mean, we're talking very difficult. And you really hung in there. Okay. You really hung in there. This meant something to you, Taurus. This meant something to you. And you hung in there. And um, I see either that situation changing. So if there's been problems in the workplace, I see things moving to a really nice place. If there's been problems in a relationship, potentially either you're walking away from that relationship because we're seeing new. All right. So definitely for those of you that have had a very troubled relationship, because we see the, the tower and the justice card, and the seven of ones, and you hung in there. And I think you reach a point finally that you did everything you could and you're moving away and you're putting yourself first. And I really like that, Taurus. All right. Imagination. So I think you feel yourself really opening up. Um, if you're not sure which direction to go to go forward, I definitely feel like that you're very much opening up to, you're kind of, I don't know, letting your imagination run wild. Maybe I feel like everybody's kind of taking a fresh approach. But Aquarius is a fixed sign and Pluto's moving into Aquarius. And I hate to be beating a dead horse, but it is very significant. Because Pluto's been in Capricorn for 15 years and now it's going to be in Aquarius for 20. And I think you're feeling an opening up. Uh, Aquarius is very innovative. It's very forward thinking. And I think that energy is coming. We see a door here in these people. So I think there's new doors opening up, new relationships, new opportunities. All right. And in the stillness, you are going to, we see the differences. I think you're finding a lot of clarity, Taurus, about certain people or somebody's feeling that way. They're seeing different sides of you. It's not all black and white, right? And maybe you're seeing that or someone else is seeing that the situation isn't black and white. There's so many. Life is gray. There's so much gray area. And I think in the stillness, you are seeing the light is what I'm feeling. I almost feel like with this card in the stillness, you're seeing the light. Nice energy. What do you not see coming? Page of Pentacles. New opportunities. New opportunities. Singles. I love this card. I feel like somebody is seeing a different side of you or you're seeing a different side of a situation or you're seeing the different side of someone else. Oh, yeah. That's that reveal card under there, Taurus. But it's all for the better. It's more positive. So if you're seeing a different side to a situation, this could be somebody new coming in that is very different than your type. This could be somebody that you're just seeing in a different light than what you've seen. All right. Um, there's more than meets the eye here. All right. There's a lot more going on than what, but you're starting to get clarity on that. Like your eyes are being open, Taurus. I love it. I love it. All right. I think we're going to move on to Gemini and that astrology answers deck finally wants to come out. Gemini. Let's see what you got good coming in, Gems. One more. I'm sorry. I heard the number two. I got to do one. That's it. That'll do it. All right, Gemini. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. King of Swords. So there's a new opportunity on the table. You got to let the past go. It's kind of hard. So you got something you've got to finish up. There could be somebody new coming in, but maybe your previous relationship's not quite finished. Now, in this way, there may be details to work out is what I say. Or this could be with the person that you meet. Somebody may be separated but not divorced. Know what I'm saying? They may be going through a custody issue. Um, there could be assets to be 
divided up, things like that, Gemini. There is an unfinished piece in your other relationship, but I think you've already gotten into something new. You've already met them. All right. Um, as well as for a job, there may be a new job on the table that comes in that you're going to have to kind of, maybe you're going to give notice at your other job. I know people don't always do that anymore, but um, so you've got a new job coming in, but it isn't going to be easy. Um, it's not going to be easy ending what needs to be ended, but this new beginning is meant for you. So it's about letting the past go. So that's going to be a little bit of a struggle, but this is the gift and it's for you, King of Swords. All right. So you've got something new coming in. Oh, I like that adventure card. Generosity. It's very positive. And I love this card and it's full steam ahead. All right. I like seeing, I mean, that's a beautiful card. Look at all those candles lit up and, and uh, this is a good offer. This is a good offer. But patience is going to be required because there is a period of, I almost feel like there's a period coming up where you're going to have to kind of wait things out. You know what I'm saying? You're, there's a wait. There's a point. It's not, maybe it's not starting in November or till the end of November, but I almost feel like it may not even start till Sagittarius season. We've got Believe. Yeah. Gentle ones, yeah. Uh, probably not. It's probably not going to start until Sagittarius season. Probably not even until December, I feel like. But definitely not. But there is an opportunity, and I feel like it'll come in fairly early in the month. Uh, Gemini, somebody new. But there's there's unfinished business. You need to tie up loose ends. So there is a very, very, I mean, you're moving in. Again, new cycle. Boldly and and. and what? It's just loose ends. It's just loose ends. So it's like, okay, I got to finish out this. Or I've got to finish out this contract and then I'm moving on to this. For those of you that have your own business, it may be a new business contract and you're like ready to jump in, but you've got to finish what's done, you know, maybe on something that's been kind of difficult. Um, as well as, again, if you're meeting someone else, either you're still attached to some extent through assets, um, child custody, things like that, divorce finalization. Um, be careful to let things, make sure you get your loose ends tied up or whoever you're with gets their loose ends tied up, but this will be worth the wait. This will be worth the wait, Gemini. All right. Cancer. Cancer, cancer, cancer. All right. I love seeing these messages, people coming into new cycles. I really, really enjoy that. So what we got? Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra. We got four more. Four more. All right. Let's see what we got. That feels good. All right. What's good coming toward Cancer? Ooh, seven of Cups, Options. So many options, you're getting overwhelmed. And there is the potential you could get overwhelmed, but uh, look at them carefully as well. What's that Seven of Swords? All right, yeah, look at them carefully. Take your time. That's the best advice coming through. But you've got a lot of options, and this is amazing. Amaze balls here, Cancer. Ace of Wands. So some of you singles may really be dating a lot. Some of you singles may be dating a lot. Potentially could have a Taurus. We've got Taurus, Scorpio, and Sagittarius energy. And we got the Knight of Swords there. Could be a younger air sign that comes in. I feel like you're really exploring your options. As well as you may have multiple job opportunities. If you get a new job, your job you're at currently, you could potentially get more than one offer and have to really make a decision. And it's difficult because you're getting good offers. Okay, Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands. That's what I feel like. Oh, yeah. But you're going to make end up making a decision. Definitely with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hierophant on that Seven of Swords. Really take your time um, for sure before you, um, yeah, Cancer, make your decision. As well as if it's a new partner, if it's in love and there's, and there's a new, I feel like you're at a point where you've just got a lot of opportunities. If you're looking to move, you've got multiple options. If you're looking for a job, you got multiple options and potentially where you're at now is going to try to up the ante and keep you. So there could be, you know, more than seven of cups, could be more than two, um, multiple options. So you're very wanted. That is your, 
but that can be very overwhelming. That can be overwhelming. So take your time, uh, good boundaries. Um, think everything through, uh, explore your options, especially if you're dating. Cause everybody can be like really super cool and awesome at the beginning. <laughs> Everybody can be super cool and on their best game. So really take your time. Really take your time. Yeah, good boundaries. Good boundaries. Oh, but you are going to make a decision. So if, whether it's a job or it's a person or it's a life opportunity, you've got a lot of different options. And if you feel like that you don't really have any decent options, you're about to be um, completely unsettled. All right, Cancer. Options are plenty. If you've gone through a dry spell where you just haven't had any, maybe you've been job hunting for a while, nothing good. I mean, there might have been options, but nothing you consider an option. Or maybe you've been dating. And again, nothing you consider an option, Cancer. Oh, timing is everything. Well, if this isn't, the time is now. Timing is everything. Um, but don't, I definitely would not go with the first option. It may be the right option. I feel like I'm seeing swans up here. So the, the duckling is becoming a swan cancer. Cancer is center stage. Cancer is center stage is what I'm seeing. Look at the water rush. And I mean, it's rushing. It's like her dress to me. It looks like water rushing. That's calm. There's the moon showing up. You're the moon, the moon, the sun, the light, and the shadows. Yeah. Always so much going on. There's the roses. Yeah, uh, timing is everything. Timing is everything. And expression. So I think there is going to be a lot of people expressing a lot of feelings about you. And acceptance. That's all you got to do. You got to help reach out and grab it. Reach out and grab it. Nature's bounty. Be spending a lot of time out in nature or that might help calm you. Acceptance. And that's a 29, so an 11 energy. Um, but I feel like that it may get a little overwhelming, but again, timing is everything. Got a little five energy. So I like it and you are going to make a decision. That's what you don't see coming. And that's the eight energy. I love this. Love this card. So many options. You got at least three different, well, you know, we got some water here. You got like looking like some mountains, look like out in the cabin in the woods. You've got a lot of options, a lot of choices, Cancer. What's that? Evolve. Yep, you're stepping up. I kind of feel a little magician energy off that. Mm. Take it for what it's worth, Cancer. All right. Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. What's the good stuff coming in for me? Buddy, buddy, buddy. Leah, Queen of Swords. So we got that Clarity card coming up. Nine of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Full. Okay, there's like a big opportunity. Oof. A lot of night energy. Oof. Okay, so there is a big opportunity and I feel like you're excited about it or there's a new idea or there's uh, something about really making a dream, really about making a dream happen, but there is a lot of red tape. Uh, Ten of Wands with the Page of Pentacles and Page of Wands. Okay, there could be multiple options for some of you Leos. Um, you're definitely ready to go in a new direction. Um, there's a couple of different ways to go about it. So I think you're really exploring two paths and you're seeing that. But with the fool, I think that there's an opera. Okay. I'm not sure you're going to take it. I'm not, I'm not sure you're going to take it. I'm not sure you're going to take it. It is a good opportunity coming in with a lot of support. That believe card keeps coming up. Got to have the belief. Got to have the faith. Contemplation intention so it's it's all about be careful about overthinking it yeah i do think that you've got a lot of clarity on this situation there's the timing card timing is an issue for you like there's an opportunity coming in if you decide to take it i don't feel like it's going to come back around so keep that in mind now do you need to rush to judgment 
the decision, it's not an opportunity that's going to be good for six months. Do you know what I'm saying, Leo? This isn't an opportunity that's good for six months. This is an opportunity that is very much uh, present, okay? And when you get the timing card, this is what's available. This is what is here now. Now, you may decide to go a different direction. And if that's what you feel is right for you, then that is the right path for you to follow. But you are going to have to give this some thought. Just because it's not happening in the timing that you would like, don't immediately dismiss it. That's all I'm getting for you guys. I just read it for you yesterday. Now. Very specific message, may not resonate. I mean, there's no putting this off and for a better time. It's that kind of energy. Okay. So let's pop into Virgo. Let's finish up the Earth signs. See what's the good stuff coming in for Virgo. Let's do two more shots. It's nice. All right, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, your ship's coming in, Virgo. Your ship's coming in. Seven of Wands is very, very, there's been a lot of Death Card. There's been a lot of Seven of Wands. I've seen the Justice. Okay, so definitely could be something legal. There could be something legal that you're also going through for sure with the Justice and the Judgment Card. And it's probably been a little bit rough. It's probably been a little bit rough, you know, because um, we got the Five of Pentacles. There could be a settlement coming in for some of you, or there could be some sort of case resolved that's going to make your life easier. Um, if you may be, have been trying to sell a house, you may have been trying to, I mean, deal with something. They also, if you got ill health, I see you coming back in to better days. Or if there's someone around you that's had some pretty rough health, I see things coming around to better days. Um, as well as maybe a new job, a raise, a promotion, you definitely got some money coming in. Five of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles tells me that. I definitely feel like you got some money coming in, Virgo, or a new job, or a bonus, or a raise, or a promotion. Something good's coming. Effort. Yeah, your hard work's paying off for sure. Seven of Wands also puts me into a, a good mind with that. The scales are getting balanced. Definitely, you're another one that I see getting, oh, this is going to hit you on an emotional level, Virgo. Tears. This is going to hit you in the feels big time. This is so sweet. And so nice. And so you needed it. I actually feel like that for some of you, this has nothing to do with money. Um, but you're actually, someone is giving you closure. We see the judgment card and the justice. And we got that seven of wands and nine of pentacles. Somebody is actually saying, hey, Virgo, you were right. You were right, Virgo. I didn't believe it. I didn't think so, but you were totally right. Somebody may apologize for a wrongdoing, Virgo. So you may get, there's definitely some karma closed here where you're really able to push forward um, with the situation. Uh, you feel recognized, like you're getting recognition. Um, there's something very, very positive coming that you needed on an emotional level. Open-minded, yeah, and I think it's really going to open things up. I think it's you're another one that you're going to be a little surprised and caught off guard. But this is going to open you up to the new beginning and to big transformation. Look at this beautiful card, Virgo. That makes me think of the fool. That's definitely a new beginning with that baby. Of course, lots of butterflies, little baby chick. Little baby chick over here in the corner, little fairies, bubbles. This is something. This is a brand new beginning. This is opening you up allowing you to close maybe an old relationship for sure an old relationship but it could be even a work relationship with all these pentacles believe that card just wants to come out give me one more universe and support yeah i actually feel like again i feel like this is going to really kind of hit you on an emotional level um like maybe you didn't even know you needed this confirmation yeah yeah three pentacles all right and, and then all of a sudden the piece of the puzzle are coming together I just heard that in my head. So with this kind of releases any blocks that maybe you had, Virgo. Anything that was kind of blocking you a little bit. I actually feel like this is this is the piece of the puzzle. So if you've been like, well, man, if just this would happen. So there is something where the pieces of the puzzle are starting to fit. And you're seeing that in real time. 
Okay, this isn't just on a mental or emotional level. Like this is in the 3D. <laughs> what you've been praying for is coming to you. I heard that. That's for somebody specific. All right, let's wrap things up with my Libras. My lovely, lovely Libras. All right, we're going to go for your card. We may pull another one here at the end. Tools. Okay, you are being given... The <laughs> fucking believe, y'all. Just tripping in, huh? And got to believe. You are being given the tools that you need. You are given the necessary information, the necessary tools. It could be just information. You are being given exactly what you need to do what you want to do here in November. The Empress, the Queen of Wands, feeling good. Okay, we got the devil there. Let's move her up there. We can see a uh, decision and the moon. Wow. Overcoming a lot of fears and anxieties to do this. Uh, a little worried. So there's an opportunity coming in. Oh, coming in quick. Could be a relationship, new relationship, could be business, whatever. Life, love, money, right? So there's a new opportunity coming around and it's fertile. It's good. Um, it's surprisingly good I hear if it's money it's real good money if it's a relationship it's a great relationship but there's a little something to get a little something holding on there and you just need to you're going to make a decision to let that go and let the chips fall where they may this could be a business opportunity this is good this is like is this too good to be true kind of thing all right Libra this is such a good opportunity that you think it's too good to be true but you're being guided to believe all right, because this is being given to you as a gift. This is not, there's no smoke and mirrors here, Libra. This is exactly the direction you're supposed to be going. All right, and you will see those results. You'll have to be patient. They're not going to come up in November, but it's time to move forward. So anything you've been holding on in the past, this is a dream. This is the, okay. It's like nine of cups energy, Libra, is what I'm feeling. This is really good. You and Aries have some amazing energy, number one. Coming in for the good stuff, the good stuff, the good things, or whatever goods coming toward you, whatever positive change is coming toward you. However, you want to lay this all signs out to be. You and Aries have excellent energy. You may have a fire sign or a Taurus or Cancer. We got Capricorn. You're just all over the place with Major Arcana here. Um, it's time to step into the future. You're being given the opportunity. This is the right time, right place, uh, Libra. And the answer is yes, my loves. Okay, the answer will be yes. And uh, you're going to have to overcome those fears and anxieties and uh, just kind of let the past go the best way you can. You're not going to fully release it with the two of pentacles on the devil, but, uh, you know, fake it till you make it. I would for sure do that. I would take a leap in this direction with this energy I'm feeling, y'all. You'll know it when you see it. Have a good month.